Yeah, you saw that correct. We have no power. Um, I think Abby came into our room about 8 o'clock this morning, so about two hours ago. And I think she had set her alarm to get up and get ready because we are going on the road trip today. We're going to go up and see Jason's brother and sister-in-law, my sister-in-law too, and the kids' cousins. They are desperate to see us because we have not only missed them for Thanksgiving, but now we've missed them for Christmas Eve. And we're supposed to go up there today. We've got all of our bags packed. I would show you, but you can't see them in the dark. Currently, Jason is bringing my car out front. Luckily, he switched my car for his car last night in the garage, you know, because we have to baby the Tesla. And he was working on it, and he put all those cool lights on it, which they're still cool in the really dark garage. Can't open the garage door without power. We could. We could unlatch it. We could, like, push it up and then pull it down without it falling on us. But luckily, he put my car outside last night. So he's bringing the car around to the front so we can load everything up. But... According to our power company, the power should be coming on in like 10 minutes. So we're just kind of sitting here waiting. All we have to do is get in the car and head out the road, out, out on the road. Well, actually, we need to wake Ashley up. <laughs> She's kind of rolled around a little bit, but um, they kind of wore to bed what they wanted to wear up at their cousin's today so just to make it easier waking up. And I believe, can you just go make sure Abby's getting ready? Yeah, she is. Right. I, she was the one who woke us up. Woke us up so... But anyway, we can go. We can get on the road and go up to their house. I'm sure they, they have power. We should actually check, <laughs> make sure that they have power. But we need to make sure if we need to plug in the, the fridges into our generator. Um, right now, we're just kind of leaving them closed. We're not opening them. The freezer is probably really solid frozen. So I'm not terribly worried about it for right now because it's only been about two hours since the power went out. But I can't leave it all day and I don't want to leave Kaylee responsible for plugging in the generator herself. I only need her to unplug it if the power does stay off um, and then it comes on later on in the day. So that being said, Kaylee is not coming with us. Her first, technically second day on the job is tonight and we don't want to rush back and she wants to see her boyfriend. So she's staying home but I don't want to put her in full responsibility of a generator. I wouldn't walk around with you, but let her, let, the whole house is like pitch black. It's, <laughs> it's 10 o'clock in the morning, and that's the lightest spot in our house. Poor Christmas tree is not lit, but anyway, we just can't really do anything, and, and there's not even any snow. There's no snow. There's no ice. There's no nothing. It's just rain. I guess we just had wind last night. Jason said there was like wind gusts, and it just kind of poof. And just knocked all the power out. All the tree branches are super, um, uh, what do you call it, breakable because of all the heavy snow and the heavy ice we've had. So any kind of wind or extra snow or extra weight just is starting to snap all the branches. And it also snapped right onto the transformer. So trying to figure out what we're doing today. In the meantime, I've got our white elephant gifts for our cousins packed. I've got my purse. All right, flashlight from the phone to save the day. I've got a little travel bag. It's mainly just holding um, the socks and what else do I have in there? Some lotion. Oh, we're taking some sprinkles because I'm gonna do an, a, a fun dessert. I'm taking the GoPro just in case we find a really good sledding hill up there. That's why we're going and to spend time with cousins. Um, then we've got all of our winter gear in two different bags like we did for our other trip. And Jason's taking up some stuff for his brother. So that's what we've got packed so far. Can't even see it. <laughs> it goes out of focus as soon as I take the flashlight away. All right. So we were loading up the car with all of our stuff and our neighbors just down here. Um, we don't know them very well. They're very nice. But um, they're locked out of their house. They had left to go to the airport this morning, like early this morning. Um, and their flights are canceled. They're going to Baltimore and their flights are canceled. <laughs> so there's a huge backup of people like waiting. They're like day three waiting for flights. And so there's like, no chance of them actually getting on their flight today. Her husband is in Baltimore currently. So she's without him. The kids are older. They're in their 20s. They're graduated from college, whatnot. But <laughs> so the garage door won't open because there's no power. They've locked the front door. They're not used to going through the front door. So they don't have a key to get in the front door. So they have no way to get back in their house. 
and they have all their luggage and their daughter was gonna just take them to the airport and come home so she's dressed in her pajamas and like slip sli or like slides <laughs> and they literally can't get back in their house and they're like so Jason he, they were like well we have one window that could slide open I think it doesn't have a little clicker like latch on it and so Jason grabbed the ladder from our garage and brought it out and climbed up there. I didn't want to show him doing it because, you know, that seems weird for them to see me filming their house. Um, but he climbed up onto the roof and he took off the, the what do you call it? Stagger. No, the little... Latch. No, the little screen. Took off the screen and then it was latched. He could not get the door, the window to open. And so they're just going to go get a hotel. But <laughs> I don't know where they're going to go. Or they're going to go to find someone's house um, to oh. kind of hang out at until the power comes back on. Because they have no way of physically getting into their house. Lesson learned for them, bring your key. I always have my key on me. I can always come in my front door if I have to. Because you did deal with that once, getting locked out of the house. Yes, I have gotten locked out. When we first moved in, I didn't realize the inner door to the garage could get locked. Um, and anyway, so, so I got locked it. like... I don't even know. I got locked into the garage during like a power outage and so I couldn't even get out of the garage. I unlatched it and got out but anyway I'm in here constantly because I can't you can't see me anywhere else but what is the consensus Jace? Are we going to plug into generator and go? No I think we'll just go. We can't leave a generator sitting out there. Kaylee's going to be here for a while. We're going to figure it out. All right, currently we are plugging in this fridge and the outside fridge. We've got the extension cord. This generator is gonna go to their backyard. Okay, we've got the fridge plugged in here. Thank you, Abby, for getting that. I don't know why we lit a candle, but <laughs> extra light maybe. All right, so generator is going out the side. We're gonna put it right here. So it's a little bit more hidden. Mm -hmm. the exhaust so it doesn't melt the center. Yep. Hopefully it starts. Usually it just takes a couple. Okay, watch out. Oh. There we go. This fridge has power now. All right, we are officially on the road and apparently the rest of our town has power. Costco is open, we're going to get Costco gas. We've got McDonald's for breakfast. <laughs> so um, I wanted to make one small note before we head on the road. I have not taken too many precautions on what I have been eating, but over the like, last week of the holiday. But I will say, I checked the scale. I haven't checked the scale all week, but I checked the scale this this morning. And I am two ounces lower than my lowest weight that I've gotten to so far. So, I mean, there's that. that that's a pretty good day. Washington and uh, see what's in store. It was kind of raining as we were driving into town. Well, it's been raining the whole time. I don't really want to go sledding in the rain, so I'm going to wait and see if it kind of stops to rain. I don't mind the cold, but I'm going to see if it'll stop raining while we kind of chat and stuff. And then, oh, <laughs> the roads are like just covered in snow and ice. So we're back in the winter country. Alright, 
Ashley's on the phone with her friends. So we played a very fun round of, what is it? What's the restaurant called? Humanity, Rights for Humanity or something, that game. But my, Jason's brother, I wish I could have recorded him. The Red Arrow. Um, yeah, we're going to the Red Arrow for Red Arrow. lunch, dinner, whatever we're at. Um, but he did all of the um, answers in different accents. And <laughs> one of the rounds, he was spot on with he all would the do it accents. Before he knew what the yeah, he would do the accent. Was. And then, anyway, he would pick the accent. It was very funny. But we're heading into town and uh, we're going to go get some burgers. Look how snowy and fun it is. This is town. This is literally it. Like that, this, this just is this. where they filmed the show Northern Exposure. Yes, they did. One of the doctor's office was right here. It's, I think it's still staged. Maybe it's right there. No, it's, it's up here it's somewhere. Close. Yeah, Northern, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's so bumpy. So I didn't show the little place we had burgers at, but it's fun to come through little small towns at Christmas time and see the lights and the snow and it's kind of cute. It was the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more <laughs> We're back home. Um, sorry we didn't film much. It's just better to just spend time with family. We went back to their house and uh, we watched Glass Onion again because Chelsea hadn't finished watching it. I had fallen asleep during part of it. And it's just a funny show to watch with other people. And so we watched that and, uh, and then we came home. Looks like there's our fridge. You can't tell right there how pulled out it is. <laughs> Really couldn't push it back before oh, she had to go to work. Stuff, yep, oh, she brought the generator in. Good girl. Um, everyone's up back up in their rooms, fighting as normal. <laughs> I tell you though, these squishmallows work great in the car. Oh crap! But also, oh, hang on. I, I thought, need you to plug something in for me. I thought it was an actual emergency. He can't reach the plug behind there, so we have to send a little squirt down behind. Uh, it's just a pain in the butt. Yeah. Okay, so crawl he'll back here. Yep. Anyway, um, I do want to say that one week's difference in weather on that pass. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's uh, night and day. We had torrential snow last week, and now we had torrential rain this time. Both are, you know, a little bit nerve wracking and strenuous to drive through. Um, but <laughs> night and day, it took us one hour to get home tonight and it took us three and a half, almost four hours last time to do the same distance. Absolutely insane. We are safely home. We have power clearly, which is fantastic. I had a video that I have been trying to upload um, for the past three days. And now that I have internet, I can actually get it to post. Um, my glasses are covered in rain because it's pouring outside. So we are going to, uh, I don't know why it's not going. Save your video. I think the internet's still having a hard time being turned on on this computer. Turn on. So a little bit of a different kind of, um, oh, there it goes. Okay, there's the internet. It just was turned off from earlier today. So I'm going to sign off with you and I think I'm going to either go watch a show with a snack or I'm going to read one of my books. You guys, I haven't showed you some of the things I got for Christmas, um, but I got these three books. Let me show you really quick. This one is called A House in Hana. <laughs> yes, set in Maui, catching, catching the drift here. The next book in that series is Back in Hana. Yeah, yeah. I want to be back in Hana. And then this one is Forever Hana. <laughs> I'm so excited to read these books. Um, anyway, super fun. So I'm excited to, I might just take them up to my bed. Maybe I'll read them more from bed. Because I fall asleep if I read them on the couch. So I'm excited to do that. And um, tomorrow it's just kind of a catch up day. And Jason's going back to work. 
and I think Abby needs to find out if she has a repeat attempt at her orientation for work. Um, I think Kaylee has to work tomorrow and she has PT. So we're just gonna like get caught up on life um, after Christmas here, but before the new year, what day does this video go up? It goes up the 29th. So not to bore you any further, I am going to sign off with you and we will check in with you in a few days. I think I'm gonna take a day off from filming tomorrow just because we're not gonna be doing anything extravagant. Um, so thanks for joining us on this little journey this morning. It started off kind of weird with the power being out. Didn't anticipate that. And then a different drive versus exactly a week ago. <laughs> um, so I hope everyone is home safe or where they need to be safe. I know my brother is stuck in Chicago after flying home from my dad's house. Um, he had a layover in Chicago and then was going on to North Carolina where he lives and they canceled his second flight out of Chicago. So he's joining the rest of the country in delayed and canceled flights. They're trying to catch up on the late, the three days worth of flights that they have canceled because of bad weather all over, over the U.S. And so there's zero flights available until next year for my brother to get home from Chicago. So he got a hotel tonight and he is either going to rent a car tomorrow and drive the 11 hours from Chicago to North Carolina or he's gonna get on an Amtrak. <laughs> Take the train. It's a very old school way of traveling. Um, but he has a trip planned out on the Outer Banks. Him and his, all of his buddies, they have rented a house out on the beach for the rest of the week and for New Year's and he wants to desperately get to the beach. So I would, I would get on a train and, and head home. That would be what I would do. So I hope he travels home safely and help all of you have either traveled safely and or are going to be able to travel safely. And hopefully we can get through these holidays in the next week or so um, safely. Uh, <laughs> and then just kind of stabilize. Have everyone back in their homes. Holidays are over. Travel can go back to normal. Keep on going. So take care, you guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Good night.